I know, I know you guys are always asking me for these kinds of videos. So here it is, my How to Make Kina Guide by Saivo Rockefeller himself. We in Europe are in 5.1. You guys in North America are not yet there, so you're the lucky ones because throughout this video, you're gonna get a really cool insight into what's worth it in terms of 5.1. Uh, and you can make some cool decisions, even starting from now, that will help you get a nice um, chunk of money when 5.1 comes for you as well, yeah? Cool, so 5.1, a great patch to make a substantial amount of Kina in. I'm gonna tell you how. It's actually one of the most uh, Kina-friendly patches um, that we ever got in no particular order I'm just gonna name the things to you without being boring without being long uh, these are my best ways of making Kina in 5.1 at number one uh, the new selling the new tradable mythical arena PvP gear that is a great way uh, of making Kina a great income uh, those pieces sell for a good price Obviously, they don't sell for 600 million each because they are consumables, because they break, so they should be cheap because they are easy to get. About 20 arena wins and you already have yourself one of the easy pieces uh, and that can be done really fast. Uh, the insignias that you get from winning are or losing from doing the arena are not tradable, however the gear is, which means that you can do it on, you can farm those insignias and buy the gear and trade it, sell it uh, on all of your characters that are high devas which is great because lots of us uh, older players have a lot of characters um, and yeah it's just a super awesome income you do not have to necessarily play all the arenas if you find it boring if you have maybe 16 characters or whatnot um, you can just do afk you still get some insignias for um, for losing arenas but if you're into pvp and this is mostly for um, this is really good news for the pvpers people just just do arenas then great way of making kina finally a super comfortable and reliable way of making kina for pvpers selling arena tradable pvp mythical gear really good gear um, obviously not the best but really good so yeah much interest in uh, from the community in acquiring that gear at number two i'm gonna use um, selling these uh, starlight fragments these starlight fragments in 5.0 they drop from library of knowledge in 5.1 they drop from both library of knowledge and garden of knowledge now these are used to create um, library gear and in 5.1 to create the uh, Garden of Knowledge gear, which is the best PvE set out there. And obviously, since we're not going to be getting any new PvE content in the foreseeable six months, then this Garden of Knowledge gear is going to be the best PvE gear for quite a long time. And I can tell you from now, prices have skyrocketed for these Starlight Fragments, um, at least on my server. They are really good uh, to farm now, prior to 5.1, if you're in North America, of course. But even if you are already in 5.1, you're in Europe, then do Library of Knowledge because they go for good and each of you gets it in the party. It requires group PvE content, sometimes not as accessible, as I'm hearing, even though Library of Knowledge, super easy dungeon, uh, Garden of Knowledge, super easy two bosses, so you can have basically guaranteed um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these fragments, random colors, if you do first two bosses in Garden and all bosses in Library. So that's basically an easy um, 80 to 100 million for each uh, run of Garden plus library yeah super simple easy kina at number three i'm gonna use uh, stigmas obviously stigmas in 5.1 are uh, no longer limited you cannot acquire the limited versions anymore so that means that all of your existing characters are at least in europe we got bags with stigmas however even if you do not get in if you're not get, gonna get bags with stigmas and nc west for you guys in north america has a different plan of uh, replacing your current uh, limited stigmas the point is selling stigmas is going to be a really good business because you can get a character to level 30 and there you go you get a stigma bag you can choose a stigma and then sell it getting to level 30 requires about two hours if you're power leveling yourself or even less maybe an hour so super easy 
simple to do money and obviously since everyone now wants to enchant their stigmas then you can imagine that uh, stigmas are very valuable these days and pretty easy to get if you have lots of characters depending on how nc west rewards you then uh, you're in luck you can just make a little fortune uh, right after 5.1 hits however people will still want to enchant their stigmas after so selling stigmas uh, unlimited versions obviously uh, is a very good way of making kino there are other ways of making kino in 5.1 uh, these were my three uh, major options of course there is always the cash shop however um, cash shop is too expensive and i definitely uh, will not recommend it anymore if you work too much and if you earn too much money by working and you don't have enough time to play cash shop is still gonna be and always gonna be and always was a super viable option of making fast easy kina if you have the real money to do so yeah i'm not even gonna get into the cash shop because there is no point cash shops are always gonna give give you as much kina as you have real money so is not the point yeah other things that are going to go expensive in uh, 5.1 and that are going to be more valuable are these crafting stones these are going to be super valuable uh, the spirit stones all sorts of them um, super needed because of the uh, magical crafting system introduced with 5.1 and surprisingly that's about it i have three options let's go uh, through them uh, really quickly at number one selling the new tradable pvp gear from arena at number two um, these selling these uh, starlight essences which requires pve group content so we have so far one for pvp one for pve and at number three leveling up characters getting stigmas um, that would be another way of making a uh, really nice steady income grinding farming mana stones getting enchantment stones i'm not gonna get into that because in my opinion when i talk about kina i talk about a lot of kina i'm not gonna talk about your three million for a fabled new enchantment stone doesn't matter that you can do on the side for me grinding was never really a viable options uh, option there are no other things that came with 5.1 um, that are comfy easy to use reliable apply to all people um, and give you a lot of kina yeah so it's just those three plus the cash shop that's about it guys it's super simple and you should look forward to this patch however if any of you have obviously any other suggestions how to make kina tell me how are you making kina tell me in the comments below so that other people can see maybe you know they also are those kinds of players and they're gonna take your advice so tell it in the comments below i'm curious other people are curious as well and uh yeah in the meantime guys as always love and uh, see you soon